Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Peanutty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm actually decorating my first spread for 2021 because last week's stuff I'm kind of counting as 2020. But I'm in my new Franken planner. If you want to see how I set it up, check out the video in the description below. And I'm just going to pull out the first weekly pages so I can work with them a little easier without being on the discs. And I thought it would be really fun since I'm using the Disney planner if my first spread of the year was the Disney princesses. So I pulled the sticker books. I actually got two of these for Christmas and the other two I bought on my own. So I've got quite the little collection going, including the colorful boxes, which I probably should have bought like three of because I foresee using those all the time. And I'm just going to start in chronological order going through the princesses here. So I need to find Snow White. There we go. And then I need one kind of skinny enough to fit in one daily box. I'm going to have my correction tape handy in case the sticker overlaps that solid black line on the planner. I don't want a black line running through somebody's pretty dress. And then we'll go next to Cinderella. And her gown's a little bit bigger. She kind of hangs over the edge, but I'm okay with that. But we've got that black line running right through her face. So I'm just going to put that correction tape there. And then Aurora. There we go. And then next chronologically, they do jump all the way to Ariel in the late 80s there. I think it was 89. Yeah, they went 30 years without a princess movie. And then we've got Beauty and the Beast. So we'll put Belle in there. Her gown is also kind of big. That's why I stuck Ariel all the way to the left edge. All right. And then we had Aladdin. So Jasmine goes next. And then Pocahontas, 1995. Now, the problem with the Pocahontas stickers is all the other princesses I could fit in their little box. Cinderella's a little bigger. Belle's a little bigger, I think, because the gowns. But Pocahontas is a lot bigger. So I'm not sure why they scaled her up a little bit. But you can see she kind of towers over all the other princesses. That's all right. And I'm just going to trim that excess carefully using sharp objects. And then I thought it'd be fun to go back in with these huge gold foil quotes. Uh, kind of some inspiration for the beginning of the year. You're made of magic down here. And there's another one. Have a brave heart. I thought it was kind of good motivation to start the year off. Okay, then let's go back in with colorful boxes because I know where I have Zoom appointments and those kind of things. Events and activities. All right, so I need two Thursday and I'm just going to use their little character colorful boxes. So like Flounder Sebastian there. Um, one of the three fairies on Aurora's. Mrs. Potts and Chip. And I think Cogsworth Lumiere. And then on Jasmine's, we'll do a boo here. And then the Pocahontas colorful boxes. I need a smaller one. So I could have used Miko, but we'll do the smaller one that's just the leaves. And then I thought it'd be fun to go back in with their own kind of accoutrement. So little woodland characters and a cute little bird for Snow White. Maybe a mushroom, and I think the squirrel's really cute. And then Cinderella. I love the Cinderella. We have one of the little sidekicks is this little mouse. I think Jack and Gus are the only ones that have names. If the other mice... Oh, you know what? I think we do hear the names of one of the women mice. I don't remember, though. <laughs> I'd have to look it up. Um, a spool of thread, a cute little button. I love the little sewing notions for Cinderella and she has another little bird so I'm gonna put her bird up next to where I had Snow White's bird I think that's cute and Aurora also has birds on her page so a little bird and then more woodland animals and little flowers that's cute now Ariel she's not gonna have little birds but she does have some coral maybe another little fish I think some bubbles and then Belle, 
This is Belle's month, so we already have Lumiere and Cogsworth in the corner and Belle up at the top, but I'm gonna put Mrs. Potts and Chip down below. And then I think it's not technically gray stuff because they colored it pink, but I think it's supposed to be the gray stuff from the song Be Our Guest. And then for Jasmine, she has a bird, so we'll put her little dove in there. Remember in the movie, she's got that bird cage. And then I think a ruby for her. And then Pocahontas. I really wanted a bird for Pocahontas and I didn't see any on her page, but luckily back with the sidekicks, we have some little flit stickers. So those are really cute. So we'll put her little hummingbird there and then go back in, I think with some leaves. She does have feathers and other elements, but I think I want to save those for another spread. Okay, then I'm going to come back in and tuck in some more. So Jasmine had a little extra space. We could put those flowers. All right, and that big blank margin was still bugging me. And I didn't want to pick any one princess to go in that margin, but I'm trying to find something that'll fill that space. So I'm thinking I'll come back to the colorful boxes and do more gold foil to kind of tie into those gold foil quote stickers I had. So I'm going to do one of these tombstone stickers. This one just says notes with the crown and then some of these smaller colorful boxes that just have the crowns in the corner. And I'm going to deliberately stagger those side to side so that I don't have to try to line them up perfectly straight because that would bug me if I couldn't get them perfectly straight. So I find if you do it off on purpose, I'm okay with that. So I'll just kind of stagger some back and forth, which gives me a lot of place to write extra to do's and things. And then I still have a little space on the bottom there. So I'm thinking I'm going to come back in with a heart and a flower and kind of layer them a little bit. All right. And then I still have some space up around that gold quote. So I'm going to add some more flowers for Snow White's page. I think the pretty blue star from Cinderella. And maybe some little flowers from Aurora's page. And I think that's going to do it. It was a lot of fun to kind of build it up from just the basic idea of having the princesses down the middle. I didn't know what I was going to do beyond that. So I think it turned out really fun. Very colorful. You can really see that gold foil. Catch the light. Who is your favorite Disney princess? And then maybe the question of the day could be more about... Which movie have you seen the most times? Because I definitely have my favorite movies, but I might have seen Cinderella the most growing up as a kid. Although I did see The Little Mermaid four times in the theater, but I've definitely seen it more than that in my life. But let me know in the comments down below, is your favorite princess the same as the movie you've seen the most? But let me know what you guys think. Click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time. Bye.